Hey. Hey guys. Day, Day 53. 53. And where are we? Yellowstone. We made it after an eventful day. What a day. <laughs> it was it was crazy. It what was, was something. Yeah, what was meant to be a five and a half hour drive Took turned into a 12 ten... hour drive. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, 12 oh, yeah. hour drive. Yeah, I we did almost a thousand miles today. No, a thousand kilometers, 600 miles today. We did. Yeah, we uh, left Sheridan. We thought there might be some snow on the road because of a, a storm warning. And we left early. And we left early and we came through and the road wasn't closed and we got through that part and it was all fantastic. And we thought, yes, we're going to make it. It started to snow and there was slush everywhere and we're like, oh my gosh. And then we came out of that and we're like, yay, it's getting um, clearer. And uh, we finally made it to the East Gate of Yellowstone. Yeah, we did. And then discovered that they were just in the process of closing. Shutting the East the gate. gate to Yellowstone. With the two cars in front of us. Yeah. So uh, we turned around. Uh-huh. And we drove all the way back to the next nearest town where which we could turn a different way. Cody. Which was Cody, which was an hour away. So, so at this time you can um, probably imagine our frustration mm. um, after driving five and a half hours to get there. Yeah. Only to turn around for another hour to make it back to the next town. So we did stop and mm. get some coffee because we thought that that would really help <laughs> the situation. And it really didn't because it was yeah. really bad. Terrible coffee. Yeah. Anyway. So anyway, we regrouped and we went, right, we what do we need this. to do? to get to Yellowstone today from Cody. Yep. And the answer was drive to the North Gate, which was a very long way around. And now the six and a half hours later. <sighs> we finally made it. We did. We got to the gate and we were like, please, please, please be open. And they were open. Yep. And I said to the lady as she checked our annual pass, can we get through to Old Faithful, which is where we are at the moment staying? And she said, yes, I believe the roads are currently open. And we went, ah. okay, well, we're going to try it. And when someone says currently, we all know what that <laughs> means, right? There so is anyway, a chance. Yeah. But we drove in and there was a little bit more snow. There's snow all on the ground and the trees and things. And then we saw geysers and we so saw cool. elk, lots of elk just all over. And more bison, bison, but these bison are m way bigger. Mm, much than... bigger than the ones at Custer State yeah. Park. Yeah. Yeah. And then and, what else? And then we saw a bear. A bear. <laughs> so that was really cool. And then we went around the corner and then what else did we see? We saw more bears. <gasps> a mama bear and two baby And two baby bears. bears. And what else did we see? More, more elk. Bison. More bison. It just kept going. It kept going. It was really, it was so cool. really cool. Yeah. So we eventually arrived at uh, our hotel which is the very historic Old, Old Faithful, Faithful Inn. Um, first accommodation in a national park ever, in the first national park created ever in the world. Yep. And it's uh, about four or five stories high and it's all timber. It's the, it was at the time the tallest all timber building anywhere and they've just mm. preserved it beautifully. It's, um, it's very lovely. Let That's me take sunny. you on a bit of a tour. Mm. So, and you'll just have to excuse all of our stuff, but this That's lovely. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have this beautiful window and you can't see at the moment, but outside that window is the geyser. Old Faithful, it's really beautiful. And then we have a sink. Look at, the, look at the look at the copper bench top. Look at the check that out. It's, it's amazing. It's copper. Mike's very enthusiastic about <laughs> this old school heater. Um, and that is all, people. That's it. No bathroom. We've got a shared bathroom down the hall, which we were a little bit dubious about. Uh, but uh, turns out that it's very flash. It's very lovely. flash. Yeah. So it's totally fine. Yeah. So what are we doing tomorrow? So tomorrow we're going to explore Geyser Hill. Yeah. We'll watch Old Faithful go off. We'll hopefully see some other geysers go off. Yeah. Uh, we'll go on some hikes. We'll see some more bears, hopefully. Yeah. And we'll... hopefully it won't be snowing hopefully and it won't raining be snowing. tomorrow. There's meant to be no precipitation tomorrow. Meant to be it's cloudy. 
but no rain or snow. Yeah, and reception here is very scattered, so we may or may not be in contact with anyone. If this mm. gets loaded and you see it, just chill. We'll get back to you in a couple of days. Yeah. Um, and oh, the temperature range tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's going to be minus six overnight. And what's the maximum tomorrow? Three. <laughs> and it's going to get to that at about 4 p.m. So uh, we're going to be cold. Yep. But we have heaters in the car. So if it's too cold out, we are doing all of the drives in Yellowstone. Yeah from the comfort of a heated car. Yeah, we'll just jump out and see stuff for five minutes and jump back in. Yeah, but uh, it's gonna be good, cannot wait. Brilliant. Okay, well that's all. Um, if you ever have the chance to drive for 12 hours, didn't get to an incredibly cool destination. <sighs> and it'd wanna be cool <laughs> after 12 hours. Just say yes, guys. Bye, see ya. See ya.